Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I get to check out the Japanese classic Message from Space released on Blu-ray by Eureka Video. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. So, Eureka Video continued their blazing trail of Sunny Chiba movies. Uh, with Message from Space, a movie I don't think I've ever seen, although I know when I watch it, um, it may like kick off some childhood memories that I probably did catch it on television back in the 80s at some stage in my life. Without a doubt, I did. Now, I, I always thought that this movie was another one that I have. This is the German Blu-ray release of War in Space. Uh, from Jun Fukada, the director of, of Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, the Monkey Magic TV show. And this is actually a great movie. This is a very fun movie. I wouldn't mind Eureka following up with this with an official UK release, but I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. I always thought that that's what Eureka were going to put out here. Um, turns out it's not, but this is still worth it. Now, on the back here, it actually says Japan's answer to Star Wars. But yet it's odd because Message from Space has often been criticised as being Japan's answer to Star Wars. A movie that Kenji Fukasaku, uh, who's the director, of course, of this many great movies, Battle Royale, as you'll know, um, they, they raced uh, to get this out <laughs> pretty much before Star Wars itself hit Japanese cinemas. Uh, so there was a wee bit of controversy, let's say, just a wee bit behind that. And then when it was picked up for America, that again followed there because there, there is a quite a lot of similarities, I'm imagining. <laughs> I'm imagining, but look at that cover. Isn't that just wonderful? Absolutely fantastic. Stars Vic Morrow, uh, Sunny Chiba, Etsuku Tsushiomi, and the gorgeous Hiroyuki Sanada, of course who you can see down there in the corner. I'm very excited for this. Looks like a a mix of cast uh, from East and West, which I'm very happy for. Very Power Rangers looking with the, uh, the, the villain up here in the background. Um, but also that flying ship, it, it kind of excites me. I have to say it excites me. But yes, uh, this will be a first time watch for me. I'm thinking. Um, but very excited, part of the Masters of Cinema uh, collection from Eureka Video. This is number 292 on their spine there, if you're collecting them all. Very good, well done you, because that's a, that's a big dedication there. Um, but yeah, from Kinji Fukasaku, what a wonderful man, what a wonderful filmmaker. This may be something quite different to what he is or, or is known for or has been putting out there, but I'm excited. I am excited. Okay, with this special Blu-ray edition, we get limited edition O-Card slipcase featuring new artwork by Scott Saslow. Limited edition reversible poster. Oh, 1080, HD, uh, 1080p HD presentation on Blu-ray from a restoration of the original film elements supplied by Toei. Wouldn't be like Toei to try and rush something out before a Hollywood production. Original Japanese audio. Optional English dubbed audio. Optional English subtitles, brand new audio commentary by Tom Mez, Message from Earth, an archival documentary featuring interviews with Sunny Chiba and Kenta Fukasaku. Fantastic, excited for that one. A brand new appreciation of the film, reversible sleeve featuring original poster artwork, stills gallery, trailers, plus a collector's booklet featuring new writings on the film by Christopher Stewardson. Very good. Wow. Okay. 105 minutes in length, 1978. Uh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be pretty exciting there. Region B. Let's slide her open and see what's inside. Pops open with the same cover there. Um, but I will be flipping that, of course, if the original artwork is there. 
very nice. I, I'm sure there's going to be a hell of a lot of model work in this because I don't, I don't think. And if they rush this as a production to get it out before Star Wars, uh, I think kind of the story is that uh, Kenji and others went and saw Star Wars in the West, um, flew back home, and got to work straight away. So I don't know if it's going to have the same kind of effect feel, uh, <laughs> but this is this was make, makes it exciting. And of course, the Japanese are renowned for their astounding model work. Uh, they have been already by this stage. They have been for decades with their kaiju movies and others. But this is nice. On the other side there, quite a different uh, cover, but I like it. Very cool. I'm going to slide that back in though, because on the slip, the, uh, the new stuff is there. Very nice indeed. Wow. I wonder what number 300 is going to be on the, the Masters of Cinema releases from Eureka. How exciting. Okay, the book and booklet and poster. Okay, what will we go with first? Poster. Let's do the poster. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh, I love it. Very nice. Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay, so this is what I showed you on the opposite side of the actual cover itself, which is nice. I like it. So there's plenty of big ships going on there. No Millennium Falcons that I can see. Oh, maybe down there, maybe. Where fant fantasies are real and reality is fantastic. There's some similarities I can already see there to Star Wars. And on the other side here, that is quite beautiful. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I mean, this here, big ship already. I love Star Wars. I love the original Star Wars movies. I'm not gonna get into it because there's a, obviously, <laughs> there's, Far too much to get into uh, with that. Not a massive fan in the sense that I will go out of my way to um, see as much and see everything and spend as much on those. But uh, it's a childhood favourite, of course, as it was for many. I was born the year it came out and I was brought up on it. Front cover and on the back, this little detail of a robot, which I'm guessing is going to be like the R2-D2 of Message from Space. <laughs> Let me get stuck into this. Okay, very nice. Lovely shot there of that planet here. My goodness, this is going to be fun. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Some wild looking characters there. And of course, I mean OTT in terms of uh, Japanese cinema from this era, of course. It's, all right. it's kind of like giving me vibes of Legend of the Eight Samurai, GI Samurai, that's, that's kind of this kind of thing. Uh, I'm hoping that's what it's going to be like. A lot of fun. Some very detailed illustrations there as well, which is nice. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And of course, as I say, Hiroki uh, Sonata, Duke Sonata, Henry Sonata, whatever you want to call him. Gorgeous uh, at this time of his career. Just gorgeous. Uh, and still waiting. Please, Eureka video. Still waiting for... Roaring Fire on Blu-ray. Please, please, please put that out there. I just love that movie so much. Anyway, that's all there is to share with you. I'm going to go check out Massage from Space and come right back to let you know what I think. So just back after checking out the Eureka video Blu-ray release of Message from Space, the wild, wacky Japanese take on Star Wars which has a lot more in common with Star Wars than I first thought it did, but it actually has quite a lot. <laughs> in a great way though, because it's very, very entertaining. And am I not wrong in thinking that George Lucas was inspired by certain samurai movies and things for Star Wars? Well, if that is the case, and please, uh, this takes it to a whole new level. It basically is Samurais in Space. And who better to direct that than Kinji Fukasaku? Uh, what, a, what a movie. It is just bonkers. Uh, there's so much going on here. The model work is fantastic. Uh, and this is just such a ride. Such a ride. Even better so. Now, I was getting kind of flashbacks of childhood uh, seeing it as a kid. I don't remember it wholly but I do remember certain scenes that were standing out to me. Uh, that said, being able to see it now in HD, full HD for the first time, 
was quite the experience and what a movie it is there's a lot of great visuals here a lot of life-size uh, spacecraft and some as i say some fantastic model work going on there but what a cast and such an enjoyable cast to me this is a live action anime the whole way it is just bonkers really uh so much to love i watched it again with the tom Mays audio commentary very very informative uh the guy is clearly a fan of it <laughs> but w well worth listening to if you want to find out more on the movie itself i've yet to go back and check it out with the english dub i'm excited for that uh just for different reasons but i might go back and give it another shot there uh the uh massage from space uh video appreciation with patrick macias uh, i think it ran for about 14 minutes just under 15 minutes maybe um but a good listen to uh i guess nostalgic for him but one of his favorite if not the favorite japanese movie uh for him but uh, yeah, definitely worth a watch to hear his thoughts on it. The uh, message from Earth making off featurette runs for about 30 minutes, which was fantastic. Uh, it's not your, uh, I guess, your usual making off where it's all behind the scenes footage and things like that and interviews with absolutely everyone involved. It's mostly uh, an interview with uh, Kenta Fuku, uh, Fukusaku, uh, Sunny Chiba and that. Um, but it's a great insight uh, from his memories of the movie being made, the success of it and so on. Um, there, it does cut in some photos, behind the scenes photos and things like that. So it is well worth checking out for sure. The stills gallery number one, promotional materials, uh, looks, there's some great fan, fantastic stuff in here. The artwork is beautiful for posters of the movie, uh, comic book pages, designs for the spacecraft and things like that. Really, really cool. Love that stills gallery. The behind the scenes one is very low res, but pretty cool to see. Again, you get to see uh, more behind the scenes shots of the life-size uh, spacecraft and things like that. The blue screen that's in use and other bits, but very, very cool. Uh, trailer one, filming begins. This is quite an interesting piece and more so a promotional trailer for the movie itself. Ran for around two minutes in length uh focuses quite a bit on the western cast let's say arriving at the airport uh, arriving for press conferences things like that where they're ready to launch this film and get it going and get people excited for it uh trailer two runs for just over two minutes in length uh presented like as a news flash uh and a bit more insight to the production itself and what's going on in some footage but then trailer three is the wide release trailer. Uh, runs for just uh, over four minutes, around four minutes in length. This is the full trailer. You're getting to see everything here and it's pretty wild. Not as restored as the movie um, and worth checking out before you get into the movie, but not as much as the US, t t uh, the US release trailer. Sorry, I was gonna say teaser trailer. It's not a teaser trailer because it runs for about two minutes or more. Um, but very low res again, and definitely unrestored. Maybe not so low res, but definitely unrestored. Again, Trailer 3 and the US release trailer are well worth watching before you go into this print because that cleanup and that restoration is gonna knock your socks off. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so much so that you will see the odd wire here and there when it comes to the models, um, but it's so beautifully done. And so, I guess just so corny, but in all the right ways. Um, but overall, this was an experience and a half. Uh, Star Wars meets Power Rangers, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, but definitely for me, a double thumbs up. Super glad that it's in my collection. Out now from Eureka Video. So thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia. Don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel. You can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.